It is day four of the Gay Games right here in Northeast Ohio, and just because it's summer doesn't mean there aren't competitions of all seasons. And on such a humid day, taking to the ice sounds, well, it sounds pretty refreshing. Dave Arnold spent the day at the rink with skaters, all seeking gold. Living a day in Rachel Durbin Nowicki's skates, from her blades perspective, is made easier by her polished form and determination on the often bumpy ice here at Serpentini Arena at Winterhurst. For Rachel, a college student from Chicago, this is a realized dream. I heard about the one uh, at the Gay Games in Chicago when I was little. Um, I went there to support my two moms, and I knew that I always wanted to go to the Gay Games as an ally then. And now that I am out, I am uh, so excited to be here. There are plenty of events for every level of skater here. This Kent State student and Winterhurst regular practiced this morning with Rachel. Her competitive event later, a smooth routine of successful spins and jumps. I've grown up with a lot of friends that have been gay and have had to deal with coming out. and It's been difficult, so I'm here to show my support for them. And they said it's one of the most inclusive sporting events in the world, so I figured I might as well take part of the huge event that's being here in Cleveland in my hometown. This New York City couple worked their ice dance routine. Growing up in Summit County drives their energy. The gay games are all about inclusion, personal best, and uh, just being a part of something that hopefully has a broader impact on the world and on this community. Los Angeles skater Antonio Conti performed an incredible routine this afternoon. I just think it's important as a, as a way for all the athletes to come together, show some solidarity. On your side at Serpentini Arena at Winterhurst, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. And officials tell us the skating medal ceremony took place after four today. You can go to newsnet5.com for links to the gay games results.